Early on June 14th, the Russian Aerospace Forces reportedly carried out airstrikes on positions of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham near the villages of Al-Bara and Deir Sambul in southern Idlib. Since the signing of the new de-escalation agreement with Turkey on March 5th, the Russian military has halted active operations in Greater Idlib. Nonetheless, it continued isolated precise strikes on high-value terrorist targets. The June 14th airstrikes followed the creation of a new coalition by several al-Qaeda-linked groups operating in the region, Haras al-Din, Ansar al-Din, Ansar al-Islam, Liwa al-Muqatlin al-Ansar, and Tansiqat al-Jihad. The coalition, dubbed Fa Ithbatu, is in fact an expanded variant of another al-Qaeda-linked coalition, Gurfat Imaliyat Waharid al-Muminin. This very faction recently conducted a large attack on Syrian army positions near Tanjara and Fatira, killing several soldiers and destroying at least one BMP infantry fighting vehicle. Therefore, despite the claims of pro-militant propaganda that militant groups are uniting their forces in order to fight back the possible aggression of the bloody Assad regime, the creation of Fa Ithbatu likely reveals preparations for more aggressive actions against government forces. The Turkish leadership, which is also committed to pushing propaganda about the evil Assad regime, clearly understands the real position on the ground. So it has continued expanding the network of observation posts along the M4 highway in southern Idlib in an attempt to keep the situation under control. The most recent Turkish observation posts were created near the villages of Farkia, Basankul, Kafir Shalea, Ermal Joas, and Marian. Nonetheless, even these extensive efforts did not allow Turkish forces to at least create the image of order in the so-called opposition-held area. On June 13th, fighting erupted between Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and a local armed group in the village of Salkin near the Turkish border. The conflict started after Hayat Tahrir al-Sham members assaulted a displaced civilian from Ma'arat al-Numan for setting up a food stand near their shop. The fighting stopped only after Hayat Tahrir al-Sham deployed large reinforcements to the village. This was just the most recent incident in a long pattern of violence which has been ongoing in the militant-held areas.